Islam is, is, they say it's a religion, actually not a religion, it's a way of life to guide humankind through its journey through life, from beginning to end. That is what Islam actually is. Islam actually means peace, to love peace and harmony with your own self first and with your Creator and then with your fellow beings, all of them, not only Muslims, all of the humankind and all the animal kind and plants, everything. You must always live in harmony with them. Oh, Islam, we are Allah is a path for us to be. Us, at us, it is Islam that we see. Then, as else, for me, so, and as as for Allah, as for Allah, they must for Allah stand. They must be salam, make Allah with Allah for us to begin. So was the great belief in that Allah Taala, very great belief, because we saw that Allah Taala can only survive. Him. When we talk about the rise of Islam at the Cape, we focus on Sheikh Yusuf Al Makassari, who was exiled to this place um, and, of course, uh, banished to this particular area. He was brought here in 1694 in chains uh, with an entourage of about 49. Uh, consisting of 12 Imams, his family and all those. So he came over here, he was banished here, exactly to this place uh, in, in Cape Town, South Africa, it's uh, Makassar. He, he was uh, the driving force to, to actually start it uh, rapidly, that, that can grow rapidly because of his influence. So there was a presence, the, there was a presence of Islamic scholarship in Cape Town at that time. They were steadfast in holding on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, staying with their beliefs, um, understanding why they've been sent to this particular area because they were so influential uh, from the areas where they came from that of course the uh, powers of the government at the time, the colonialists, they needed to get rid of them and the best was to actually send them to the furthest point where they were governing and of course beyond Cape Town, they were then sending them off to Robben Island. The pious people, the Aulia, they are buried like, it's like a circle around Cape Town. That, that is why they say Cape Town is protected because of them, of their piety and from, because of their gaining still blessings from the Almighty. So we, vis we visit them out of respect. You must know why you visit them. You're not going to, uh, to uh, ask them for favors or anything because they can't give you anything. It's only coming from Allah, coming from the Almighty. But it's out of respect. And while you're there, you're included in the blessings that are coming down on them. One of the greatest lessons that I've learned is to be able to In other words, we say, sabr, geduld. And we must always as us by it, then deal us with Makar. The biggest misconception about Islam is that they're terrorists. Because people see certain individuals doing something and then they uh, connect it to Islam, which isn't Islam. Islam is actually, as I said, it's meaning peace. A quote from the Quran that resonates with me for the rise of Islam is the quote from Surah Maida, verse number three, and it says, This day I've perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. The biggest lesson that you can gain from, from uh, the Quran is read, read. The big first, uh, first chapter, the first ayah, the first verse that came down is read, read. And if you read, you gain knowledge. 
If somebody has to ask me what has Islam contributed to the Cape, I would say that because we are peace, Islam means peace, you can hear it in our call to prayer and you can taste it in our food, our cuisine, and that's Cape Town.